to the east into the northeast of Tulsa, going into portions of uh, Arkansas and southern Missouri as well. So a couple of flurries that we're tracking here on our Viper 4D dual Doppler radar this morning. We also have a winter weather advisory out in effect until 9 a.m. today. So over the course of the next four hours, uh, going to be looking out for these snow flurries impacting areas to our east, up toward Grove, Miami, up in Joplin as well, all along I-44 going to be looking out for uh, those hazardous road conditions as of this morning. But current temperatures above freezing for us here in Tulsa at 35, falling to the freezing mark as we go up to our northeast and prior and in Grove. But if we take a look at our current road temperatures everywhere, um, for the most part, that's dealing with that wintry precip is also dealing with temperatures above the freezing mark. So we're not tracking anything in terms of hazardous roads for this morning. But as we go throughout the next couple of hours, those temperatures will continue to drop. And then we might have something to look at in terms of hazardous road conditions. As of now, mostly throughout the Tulsa metro area going to be staying dry. Sand goes up toward Bonita, looking at a little bit of areas of some patchy uh, wet roadways as we head toward far northeast Oklahoma. We also have our uh, storm chaser, Mark Polta, out on the roads this morning. He's keeping an eye out there for us. Uh, Mark, if you can hear me, hey, uh, where are you at right now and what are you experiencing out there? Mark, can you hear me out there? Are you experiencing any of uh, those wet road conditions? All right. Well, we're going to take a look back at our um, satellite and radar as of now. So what's causing all of this? We're seeing an upper level low pressure system. And on the back side of that, we're seeing some colder air and that band of moisture that's going to be dropping that wintry precip for us in areas of far northeast Oklahoma. Now, as we go throughout this afternoon, going to slowly start to clear up as that low pressure system moves off to our northeast. But looking back at our dual Doppler, this is going to be an event, not for the Tulsa metro area, but up toward Bonita, Miami, all along portions of I-44. Like I said, Tulsa saying good as of this morning, heading back toward areas that we're seeing the snow impacting, going to be toward Langley, Oki, Bonita, big cabin area up toward Kelso, uh, seeing some possible light snow flurries for this morning. Now, this is not going to be any kind of big event by any means, just tracking trace amounts areas to the northeast of Tulsa. Like I said, heavier snowfall amounts as we go up to um, portions of Missouri and even into Rogers, Arkansas, can see about a half an inch. Everywhere else here in northeast Oklahoma, trace amounts to just a dusting of snowfall. But as we go throughout our morning and into the afternoon, slowly going to start to clear out, becoming partly sunny as we go into this evening. So evening commute looking good. No kind of hazardous road conditions on your way home home from work or school just for this morning. We're going to look we're looking out for some slick conditions on bridges and overpasses. So we see this cloud cover moving on out as we go throughout the rest of our day. As we head into Saturday, looking at some more cloud cover moving on in throughout your afternoon. Overnight, tracking some showers, even some thunderstorms as we go into the overnight hours into your Sunday. By later in your Sunday, as we head into after lunchtime, becoming mostly sunny as we head into your Sunday afternoon. Temperatures more mild for this weekend, back into those 50s after a high of only 42 for today. That cloud cover going to be keeping things pretty cool for us with overnight lows dropping into the upper 20s. Then as we head into the start of next week, tracking more rainfall as we head into your Tuesday, clearing up by your Thursday afternoon. Travis Corey.